Hey guys, I was just gifted this espresso machine. It's a DeLonghi Magnifica 3400N and it was broken. It wasn't producing water or um, espresso. Uh, when you would hit the, when you would turn it on, you would hear the motor click, the pump click, but, um, and then if you would go to brew a shot, you would, um, there would be nothing coming out. No water would come out. No espresso would come out. And um, also the steam didn't work as well. So here's what I did. I pulled off the side covers and the back cover. And the first thing I saw was this pipe coming from the water tank to the pump on the right side um, was clogged with uh, minerals as you can see in the photograph so I first disconnected that pipe that little rubber hose and um, cleaned out the hose with a zip tie and um, water hot water and got all that calcium and um, mineral buildup out of the pipe it was basically completely clogged so then I turned the machine back on and tried it again and still had no luck. No water was coming out of the uh, espresso or the coffee brewing head and no hot water or steam was coming out of the steam wand as well. So then I went to the pump motor and uh, well the actual pump and pulled it out of the machine. Unfortunately I just took a picture I didn't record myself wow. doing this. But um, it's pretty easy. The, the rubber hoses just pull right off of the bottom and then the top pulls off and then there's a little clip to pull the really tiny hose out of the top as well, that T. I then disassembled the top of the pump or maybe it's called the pump head. I know on big espresso machines there's a pump head but i um, not sure what you call it with this um, the smaller machine like this. Just be careful and take a lot of pictures and make sure everything is in the correct order. There's a lot of tiny washers and O-rings and um, there's even a spring in that T, that plastic T on the top. Um, and that's really the part I cleaned was the plastic um, T. Sorry if you hear a dog barking in the background. Um, they hear me talking and they, they're like, who are you talking to? But anyway, um, I kept the that plastic T on top of the motor and I um, put it like hanging on a cup. You know, that rubber piece stays attached to it on the top. I couldn't figure out a way to pull the rubber piece off. But anyway, um, just pull all the guts out of the T on the top as shown in that picture and then um, pour vinegar or some type of descaler. I just used a uh, regular white distilled vinegar in the plastic tea and let it sit in um, like balancing on a cup, you know. And I did that a few times until I could blow pretty clearly through it. Um, at first, I couldn't really blow air through it, so it was clogged. And I could hear the vinegar eating away um, minerals, so I knew there was stuff in there. And actually, I think I said the motor was attached or the pump was attached, but it's not. Um, you take that. It's exactly what's shown in the picture with this black rubber piece still attached to it. And that just slides out of the um, side of the machine. You just have to push the wires to the side. That's how you get the, um, the pump out. And um, so, yeah, you're going to take that plastic piece shown in the picture off of the pump I think it's two screws two Phillips screws and then those are all the guts that um, come out of that and that piece that I show right here is exactly the piece I put vinegar in and I soaked it a few times and try to clean it out one more side note <clears throat> is um, in all those parts in that little piece that goes on the top of the pump I mentioned there's a spring there's a tiny spring um, 
in one side that has a ball on the end of it, like a tiny little plastic ball. So just be careful when you're pulling it all apart that you don't lose that little tiny, it's like a BB, like a plastic BB. And that spring, it's um, beveled. So the fatter side goes into the body of the um, that plastic piece and the skinnier side is towards the opening and that's where the ball sits as well. Um, I'm not sure you can see it in the picture, but I just want to make a side note. Remember, there's a tiny little ball and spring that will be amongst all those parts. And I used a little bit of um, O-ring lube on some of the O-rings, putting it back together, but I'm not sure you have to. So then I just uh, reassembled all the parts and um, put the pump back in the machine. And as you can see in this video, it works. It works great. Um, it brews really good espresso. I'm going to... Um, oh, and another side note is, um, you know, you're going to be working kind of uh, with this machine open. So as you're pulling the parts out of it, you know, you'd want to have it unplugged. And then... Um, of course, I tested it with the sides and back off just to make sure there was no leaks. But just be careful. Don't put any screwdrivers in there or anything. Don't touch anything in there while it's plugged in and while you're running it, especially if you have the back covers off and stuff. Um, I've definitely arced um, some screwdrivers doing that before. And um, what else? Well, that actually, that's it for this video, but... Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys another issue I ran into after I descaled the unit. So I recently descaled this after I fixed it and got it running. And um, I had no leaks before I descaled it. And then once I did, I found a leak on this steam, the steam element right here. There's two like boilers or elements in this machine and the one shown right here held up on a box is the steam unit anyway i'm getting a tiny leak right from that seam and i can't tell if it's something i can tighten or not so anyway that's my next project i'm going to pull the steam unit out and see if it's something I can tighten or if it's that sealed piece that's right at the top. It looks like a cap that's factory sealed and it that's where it looks like the leak's coming from. But other than that, this machine is is really incredible, man. I used to work on these automatic or automats as they call them. Um, in the real world, they were a little bit bigger, but they basically were the same exact thing. They functioned the same way. They had a brew unit that was similar that you could pull out and um, a grinder installed and just really neat. Like the kind you'll see in like a Circle K or like a convenience store. This is a basically the same unit. It's just smaller. But um, my next video will be on fixing this leak in the back. Um, I think because I descaled it, uh, I must have loosened up some minerals that were apparently preventing a leak. <laughs> So, um, cause I didn't touch this part at all when originally fixing the no water issue, but anyway, it works and, um, super stoked. It's a fun little project. And, uh, oh, another side note I noticed is now that the steam element has a leak, the steam wand drips as well, but I will keep you guys posted and, um, stay tuned for the next video on this DeLonghi Magnifica project. All right, take care. Have a good day.